John Wesley Harden, the outlaw with a deadly aim. Outlaws, gunslingers, and saloons, welcome to the Wild West. Gunpowder fills the air, bringing a fresh account of lawlessness each day. Today, we'll focus on the story of Wild West outlaw John Wesley Harden. Due to his perfect precision and fearlessness, Harden is remembered as America's deadliest shooter. In this era of chaos, one man stands above the rest, infamous for his lethal accuracy and ruthless demeanor. John Wesley Harden. But who exactly was this guy? The data, however, don't lie. Harden's reputation as a gunslinger was well-earned, with 27 verified killings. That's only the beginning. He may have killed as many as 42 people. Keep your hats on because you're in for a wild ride through Harden's life, with exciting gunfights, hair-raising escapes, and close calls with the authorities. We'll also delve into the mythos that has sprung up around this mysterious individual. What is the Wild West without a dash of intrigue? Prepare to hit the open road as we return to the Wild West of the late 19th century, when infamous outlaws like Hardin inspired equal parts terror and respect. Early Life – The Making of an Outlaw Now that you know what's happening, let's return to the beginning. Picture a young John Wesley Hardin, born in 1853 in Bonham, Texas. Surprisingly, he hails from a respectable family. His preacher father and his educated mother could not have foreseen the notoriety that their son would achieve. However, Hardin's youth had its share of difficulties. As a child of turbulent times, he is exposed to more than his share of bloodshed. He's just 14, but he knows his way around guns. Warning, that's not good news for his future. What causes this preacher's son to become a wanted criminal? It all begins when Hardin, still a teenager, gets into a fatal fight. Hardin murders an elderly guy in self-defense after getting into a dispute with him. That's the first fatality, and things are about to worsen significantly. You'd think Hardin's first slaughter would be the end of the story, but he's just warming up. He gets his start in life as a cowboy in Texas, where he travels the state herding cattle. Hardin's deadly aim, the true extent of his killings. Now that we know how Hardin becomes an outlaw, let's delve into the nitty gritty, his deadly aim and the lives it claims. Remember that number we mentioned earlier, 27 confirmed kills, well, buckle up because we're about to break it down. As Harden's life of crime unfolds, he racks up an impressive number of shootouts. It's said that he could shoot a man dead faster than most folks could blink. Now, that's a skill you don't want to be on the wrong end of. While some of Harden's kills are in self-defense or retaliation, others result from petty disputes. And here's a fun fact. Legend has it that Harden once killed a man just for snoring too loudly. Talk about a rude awakening. As with any notorious figure, there's a fair share of myths surrounding Hardin's body count. He's pinned for over 40 murders, although the number is unknown. Hardin's deadly aim makes him one of the Wild West's most fearsome shooters. Whether he killed 27 or 42, Hardin's reputation as the deadliest gunman in the Wild West is well-deserved. Infamous Shootouts and Escapades We've established that Hardin is no stranger to danger, but what about the shootouts and adventures that put him on the map? Let's dive into the gunfights and daring feats that make his story one for the history books. First up, the Davis Brothers confrontation. A dispute over a card game turns deadly when Hardin faces off against three brothers, all itching for a fight. The odds are against him, but Hardin's deadly aim is the ultimate equalizer. In a flash, all three brothers meet their maker, and Hardin's legend grows. Next on our list is the killing of Jack Helm, a former Texas Ranger turned bounty hunter Helms after the same thing as everyone else, Hardin's head on a platter. However, you probably already know that nothing goes smoothly. Hardin outdraws and kills Helm in a spectacular duel, establishing his reputation as a guy not to be trifled with. Finally, we must remember the Comanche jailbreak. After being captured and jailed, Hardin's fate seems sealed. But our outlaw isn't one to give up without a fight. He breaks out of the Comanche County Jail with the aid of his family, embarrassing the sheriff and his deputies. Many gunfights and adventures like these mark Hardin's life as an outlaw. His notoriety and the bounty on his head increase with each confrontation. But as we'll soon find out, not even the deadliest gunman can outrun the law forever. The Hunt for Hardin, Evading the Law Let's investigate how the notorious criminal seems to be one step ahead of the authorities, until he isn't. Imagine you're a lawman in the Wild West, tasked with bringing in the deadliest gunman alive. No pressure, right? That's the story Texas Rangers predicament as they close down on Hardin. He uses aliases, frequents remote hideouts, and he can disguise himself as a preacher, ironic given his upbringing. 
Harden must always be alert, with his eyes peeled and his finger on the trigger, for he is a deadly and unpredictable professional. Unfortunately, even the best things in life eventually end. After years of evading capture, Harden's luck finally runs out in Pensacola, Florida. In a surprising twist, it's not the Texas Rangers who capture him, but a local lawman who recognizes the infamous outlaw. After Harden's arrest, everyone in the Wild West knew that not even the deadliest gunman was safe. Prison Life and Redemption – The Path to Transformation It would be reasonable to assume that Harden's narrative would conclude here after we saw what became of his crazy trip as an outlaw. The startling twist, though, is just beginning. Let's explore Harden's time behind bars and his unexpected journey toward redemption. Picture Harden, the notorious gunman, locked away in a prison cell. This is different from the wild frontier he previously explored. But instead of thinking up ways to get out of there or dwelling on his past, he does something completely out of character. He starts studying. Yes, sirs and madams. Hardin commits himself to his education, reading widely in fields as diverse as law, history, and religion. His determination to make the most of his confinement is evident. A presidential pardon put an end to his 15 years in jail. The Tragic End Hardin's Inescapable Past as we've seen, Hardin's journey takes him from a notorious outlaw to an aspiring lawyer. But can he truly escape his past? Come with us as we dig up the sad end of his life and see why his past self won't stay buried. Hardin tries to turn over a new leaf, but his past haunts him. His image as a former shooter accompanies him in El Paso, where he lives and his legal career suffers. Eventually, he falls back into the same pattern of violence, gambling, and shady transactions that plagued his past. Harden also encounters the corrupt lawman John Selman about this time. Selman has a troubled background. The two guys become mortal foes, their rivalry leading inevitably to violence. On a tragic night in 1895, Harden and Selman's tensions finally boil over. The famed shooter Harden meets his sad end after being confronted by Selman in a seedy tavern. Harden's Legacy The Wild West's Most Notorious Gunman as John Wesley Harden's extraordinary life comes to a close, it is fitting to consider the impact he has left behind. What lessons can we draw from the life of the most feared shooter in the Wild West? And why does his story still interest us almost a century after his passing? Harden's story serves as a sobering warning about the destructive power of violence and the weight of the past that we can never entirely escape. He tried to reform, but his legacy as a murderous criminal dogged him till the end. It's a sobering reminder that our deeds have consequences, and that forgiveness isn't always granted. Harden's life serves as a cautionary tale, but beyond that, it's an exciting look at a guy who personifies the Wild West ideal. Because of his lethal accuracy, courageous deeds, and renowned notoriety, he is a larger-than-life person who captivates our attention. Harden's legacy continues to connect with viewers today, as seen by the many novels, movies, and TV productions inspired by his narrative peril, adventure, and the intricacies of the human condition all come together in his life story, which is interesting to read. Remember that John Wesley Harden has given us both a warning and a window into the past as we bid him farewell. This thrilling ride into the life of John Wesley Harden, the Wild West's most notorious gunman. If you're curious, press the like button. Wait, there's more. Remember to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to experience all the gripping tales and exciting stories in store. Everyone is looking forward to the next thrilling adventure after all. Join us as we explore the diverse experience. You may expect to be amused, educated, and constantly wanting more. See you in the following video, partner.